what stood out the most for you tonight? I, was the enormity of the problem and that it keeps increasing. Mm -hmm. And I think the brutality, um, you know, the stories of, about how, how so many uh, of the victims are sold by family members and people who know them, mm -hmm. you know, grandparents, you know, parents who are desperate to feed their children or, you know, they're homeless, they're living in their cars and they, you know, they're desperate. Well, the statistics that really grab me here in Iowa are, first of all, we have over 10,030 youth who experience some form of homelessness every single year in our state. And research suggests that up to one in three of those youth will be approached for a commercial sexual transaction within the first two days of hitting the street. So that statistic really grabs me because I know we have a housing shortage for homeless and runaway youth. And I know that the traffickers are on the streets looking for these kids, attempting to exploit them. And that my guess is that right now we have more traffickers on the streets looking for these kids than we have people like us on the streets trying to help them. This exhibit is going to continue for the next um, until October the 5th, mm -hmm. so there's plenty of opportunity for people to come out. I think one of the other things that impressed me tonight is I met one of the professors from um, the Emmaus Bible um, in college who brought his students. He teaches a class on urban development, and so I was glad. Uh, Kim, Professor Kim Hilby, who we have learned a lot about human trafficking, she has brought her mm -hmm. students, and she's taught us a whole lot about being passionate against, you know, about doing something against human trafficking.